only on WUSA 9. We're looking deeper at the graduation scandal within D.C. public schools. An audit revealed teachers at Ballou High School felt pressured to graduate students despite bad grades and missed school. And some say that report didn't go far enough. But the efforts to call for an independent investigation looked at the whole school system. Well, that was blocked. So are politics robbing our children of their future? Delia Gonsalves explores that question. Just as the State Board of Education was about to vote for an independent investigation, I'm told calls were made and then votes were changed. It makes you feel kind of ashamed of your school. Let's first remember because who's really at stake here. Not politicians, but people. Like Tracy Yelverton, a 2009 Baloo graduate. What happens at Baloo may happens all over the city. It's just only in the news when it happened with Baloo. According to the audit, Wilson High in Northwest graduated 34% of its students even though they did not meet attendance requirements. No sooner than the story hit did we start to hear from former DCPS teachers who, who said, hey, I worked at another school and the same thing was happening at this school. Councilmember Robert White, one of the voices who says an outside agency needs to take a hard look at how we educate our children, particularly are black and brown students 10 years after system-wide changes sold as education reform. Can't wait for another 10 years and still see this persistent achievement gap and black students still not performing anywhere near their white counterparts and then say, oh, we need to change course or make some tweaks. We have to do that now and we have a natural opportunity to do so and shame on us if we don't take it. We need the full independent review the State Board of Education, little power but a strong voice, was poised to pass a resolution last month on that independent investigation when... I'd like to make a motion to table. The issue was sidelined. I don't want to throw people under the bus, but I, you know, I think, um, you know, when, when I was approached about it, um, I thought it was strange. Board member Marcus Batchelor doesn't want to name names, but others tell me council member David Grosso, the education chair, warn folks to strike it down. And I think play politics with something that's very serious for our families and students, I, I thought was really disappointing. Playing politics or was it bullying? Well, I, you, you'd have to ask the, my colleagues who switched. I contacted all nine board members, two got back to me, and said they tabled the issue due to last minute changes, not a last minute phone call. So you never made any phone calls to any members of the state board to discourage No, I did not vote. talk to the state board to discourage them from voting, nor would I do that. I mean, I think they have to come up to their own uh, the conclusions. I spoke uh, to a, a couple of the state board members that called me. I did not talk to them. Uh, they asked me what to do, and I said that they had to make their own decision up. Let's remember, it is students' lives that hang in the balance here. Those who are out in the world, some with a false sense of security that their diploma means they're ready. And even if they make it through college like Tracy did, they may always wonder if the system failed them. It's not meant for people on that side of the city to succeed. I've been following this story for weeks now. Talk to board members for the last two days. Tonight, they just passed a resolution calling on the D.C. auditor to commission an independent investigation into all D.C. schools. The board also says they will look at that school practice of marking a child absent for the whole day, even if they miss just one class. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. But that resolution is not a done deal. The city council must first approve an independent investigation. And the next phase of the current audit is due at the end of the month. To Capitol Hill.